Hi, this is Mark Walser with Kodak Real Estate, and this is a quick uh, series of videos that I'm going to be creating to demonstrate ArcSoft Media Impression and how you can use the free ArcSoft software that comes with the Kodak cameras uh, to create videos, whether they be marketing videos or basic virtual tours or, or whatever else that you, you might want to do. It's pretty easy to use. Um, there are other programs out there, of course, that are more expensive and more full-featured. Uh, and, and you can definitely explore those if you want, but I find that for um, most of what agents are doing, uh, being able to cut, edit, trim, caption, uh, brighten, darken shots, uh, that's pretty much the basics, and uh, you can make a movie out of this as well. So, quick tour, and then we'll go and do a video editing sample, and then I'll do a, another video that shows you how to make a movie. Uh, in the next series. So, uh, first off, uh, when you open up your uh, ArcSoft Media Impression, which you can do by doing on your computer, or if you plug the Kodak cameras in, it'll give you a wizard window that'll ask you if you want to launch the ArcSoft software, or if you just want to open the camera like a, a USB drive. So you just select the ArcSoft Media Impression, up this comes, and then here in your uh, folders file, you can actually uh, find the video uh, on your hard drive. In this case, I've got two files selected. Now, one of the cool features I like about this is when you, um, uh, when you uh, have videos in your, your pane here, uh, if you roll your cursor over it, it'll play a preview of the video. On, uh, unfortunately, this Camtasia software I'm using to do this recording only shows you a black uh, image there. It doesn't actually show you the video because it's locking to the application, but trust me, that black video actually previews and shows in uh, the, the actual video you shot without having to open it. So that's kind of cool. You don't have to open these videos individually to find out what's on them. If you uh, have three or four videos like this one that are pretty similar, you can just kind of scroll over those and then it'll pull up uh, the preview for you. As you can see, that's happening here. Um, so again, uh, don't worry about the fact that you don't see the, um, the video on, on little black squares that are popping up. It's just a, a function of the software I'm using. Now down here at the bottom, uh, you can see the features of the software. Easy upload to YouTube, Facebook, and other social media sites. There's a media converter. Different cameras record in different uh, formats. So you know if you want to convert from .move to MP4 or MP4 to dot .move, you know, depending on what you're using, you can do that here. You can also make the movie, which is what we'll do in the next video to create a, um, a virtual tour. And then here's the video editor. So I've gone ahead and selected this, uh, this uh, uh, tour here, a ZI-8 wide angle. This is actually a, a demo wide angle video I made with the ZI-8. And I'm going to hit the video editor to go ahead and open it up. And then we'll show you the video features here. So now you're seeing the uh, editing sp screen. This is where you can individually edit movies. Let me just give you a quick overview. Trimming and cutting are your two basic tools. These are your mark in and mark out points where you mark the video out for trim and editing. It's got enhancements where you can dynamically uh, lighten the shot. So for example, I'll do that here on this uh, screenshot you're viewing. You see how I'm making it brighter. I can also bring it to neutral or make it darker. Color adjustment, same thing. Let's say it was just uh, overly saturated or maybe it wasn't bright enough when you shot the video. You can darken or brighten uh, right here on the shot and just sort of mess around with the contrast and, and so forth. So uh, a couple of basic features which are also um, pretty cool. If you, if you have a Kodak Play Touch, you can actually do these black and white and sepia um, uh, formats for your, your movie right on the play touch. You can select that and record it in real time that way. But if you have any other camera or you just want to do it after the fact, you can do it right here too. You can just uh, change that to uh, nothing or black and white or old movie or whatever you want to do. So play around with those modes and you can create some cool effects for your videos. Now let me just show you the playback. Okay, now I'm doing a test of the Kodak ZI-8 with our new light angle lens. The uh, setting I've chosen for video is 720. Now let's say that um, this intro, you know, I want to mess with this. I want to get it out of the shot. I don't want it. I, I just want to jump right to the part where we do the wide angle lens. So this, you see down here at the bottom where I've uh, got the highlight and my mouse going, this blue bar is what's played so far. And then everything else is left unplayed. Note the green marker, that's your cut in point. The red marker over here is your uh, trim point. Uh, you can either just hit the, uh, uh, the mark out and then notice when you do that, it'll move that red marker right over to where you pause the video. You can also drag this 
So you can make it a little bit longer or get more of the video if you want to. That's kind of cool. You can mess around with the part you want to trim. Now notice when I hit trim, it removes the highlighted section. And what that will do then, let's hit play. <clears throat> and you see how it's kept this part, the, the part that's in between the green and the red markers, that is now trimmed and, and uh, it's actually kept in while this whole part in red, which is the highlighted part, has been trimmed out of the video. Now what if you wanted to do the opposite? What if you wanted to keep all this stuff from this point uh, in, where the red is highlighted onward and just get rid of this, uh, this uh, beginning, beginning part that I, I, um, I sectioned off? Just go and hit the cut button and now it'll do the opposite. It'll actually start the video from that point. So that's the trim and the cut, very easy to use. Again, you can drag them around uh, and sort of experiment with the parts you want uh, cut and trimmed out of the video. And then when you're done and you've made that the way you want it to be, you can simply hit save down here and save it as a file. Uh, you can also, of course, uh, add, add in whatever effects you want and then save it as well. So that's the basics of how to use the video editing in ArcSoft. It's very easy to use. Um, you know, and pretty easy to play back and, and view too. So uh, not bad for sort of entry level software that uh, just comes with the camera. And I think for most of you, you'll find uh, that this, this type of editing is pretty much what you'll be doing for 90% of your videos. Now in the next video, we'll focus on how to actually make a movie. And so that's gonna be part two.